let's work on the delete function here if I click on the delete it should delete this data so how it is going to work for now if I delete nothing will happen you cannot just directly link for the delete you should have a form why because when you delete something it is very important that uh, not everybody is going to send a request and it should delete your for you are uh, your data that's why you need a form for this one to be submitted and then you can de delete your data for example if i come to my routing list here you know the method of that should be delete if you are going to send the form and otherwise you cannot delete this one as you can see the the, the route name is book.destroy and it will uh, fire the destroy method in our mod in, in our controller the url would be the same like other url but the method is changed the method should be delete it means you cannot just uh, directly put the method in a link that's why it should be a form so let's create a form here for now if i open the form now oh, for okay you can write the method here but it will not work the action the action should be here for now i will just use the route and just write the book dot destroy for now as you know this is the route name here and beside this one you should send the id of uh, the item you want to delete to in the second parameter book id it is just fine for now if i refresh the page as you can see there is no delete okay there should be a button because input type submit value should be as delete as you know it has just changed the shape of this one because the form by default must have a class of inline if bootstrap has i'm not sure form inline if it is an inline form no or inline form something like this should be here no they don't have that's why it is uh, display as block that's why it separates both of them so it's fine for now when you click on the delete it will send you to this url as you can see it will be like this it will show the, 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 the data here that's why you must know that it is going to send you to any route you want but it is not deleting because the method is we, d we did not specify the method that's why you should specify the method here I'll close the sidebar and write the method here. The way you specify the method, you use a helper again, a level helper of method field. You can write delete here. Now this time uh, the method has changed to delete. If I come back, refresh the page, click on this one, it will send us and the method will be also send like this one from the URL. This is it from the URL, but you should come here and say the method going to be post something like that you just you, this is just uh, an example that you when you submit the form the method is post but actually the method field will be sent from here the method field and then Laravel will understand and take that from that uh, from that one this time if i click on that one it will send and this is the session has expired because of the inactivity if you get this error in level 5.6 or above the problem is because you don't have the csrf field we have discussed about the csrf field previously if you come to the field here uh, to the book and when we create the form as you know we use the form open it will automatically add that one for us but if you are using like like me if you are opening the form like this one you should uh, write another field here like like this one csrf underscore field function here this time it should not give us this error okay if i go to the book delete we have no error because it will run our controller here the destroy controller because it does not show anything because we have not written anything it is not doing anything so let's see how we can delete the data it is very simple again just for example i uh, write the last line redirect back first of all send me back first of all no at the end of course now how you are going to delete the, the data you say book 
here find or fill first of all you find the book pass the id here and you store that in a book variable now you have the book now you can use the book delete function like this it will delete the book you have here and it will redirect you back this is very simple uh, let's see if it is working refresh the page we will delete the hello world if you click on the delete yes it is gone if you come to the database refresh it okay it is gone from here too now you can delete the other one too i will not delete because it is working just fine you can add some model window of course in the practical application in the next chapter we will learn how you can add a model window click on the delete it should show you a model window for confirmation yes or no then you can delete the data in the same way for the view and edit we will add more functionalities this is just an example of how all the these things work uh, in the next video we will work on the edit how you can edit data it is very very simple uh, thank you for watching